Hello, my name is Mr Krista and I'm one of the teachers who teaches media studies at North Leamington School. Um, if you choose to do media studies, you will do three components. Component one and component two are components in which you will explore various types of media. So, for example, you will study newspapers, um, magazines, you will also study radio programmes, music videos and TV dramas. When you study these media products, you will focus on something called representation. So you will learn about how different groups in society are represented. Um, so one of the things that we'll think about is whether people are represented in a stereotypical way or not. Um, other things that you will consider are the impact of technology on how media producers get their products out to the audience and how audiences access media um, products. Component one and component two are both examined and in both cases the exam is one and a half hours long and you will have to answer short questions and um, slightly longer questions as well. There is a third component, it's coursework, and that's worth 30% of the course. Um, you will get a brief from the exam board. We will help you to research that brief and you will then produce um, a product with our assistance. Now, what kind of person should consider doing GCSE media studies? If you are somebody who's interested in being creative, who's not afraid of being creative, um, who's not afraid of learning how to use um, software such as InDesign and Photoshop, and you're interested in discussing how meaning is created by media products and social issues, then it's the subject for you. If none of those things um, take your fancy, then I would strongly advise you not to do the subject, but we hope they will. Mm -hmm.